in Chattanooga Depot. Which means that you're currently riding on one of the very first rollers in the Chattanooga. They completed in 1858 by the East Tennessee and Georgia Railway Company. Now the ETN has worked with a number of other railroads over time to eventually become the famous Southern Railway in 1894. The Southern Railway would continue to use this line up until the mid 1950s When they would abandon it, for reasons I'll explain later in our journey. Now a new line will be constructed just to the north, which is going to the right our train in just a moment, up on the abandonment of the line train junction. And that new line that would replace the East Tennessee and Georgia Railway You'll see as many as 30 trains per day. Now, of course, as we tell the railway, what about in this line? Then we donate the three miles of track to us here at the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum, which we have been operating on ever since.
It was nice to be under there, it was really hot.
6.30 and they did paint the top of the roof red. Don't know if they did the scene before the 501 though. You might find out. <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can get up in the cab. Probably if I ask politely. <laughs> I've been in the cab of 401, the Southern 401 in Monticello. I've been in the cab of Southern 630, or sorry, 1630. No, not Southern, sorry, Frisco 63. And I've been in the cab of 765. I was invited up there. Let's see if I can get into the cab of 4501. Ooh, slack. And there's the 630. Second time seeing that beauty. Great looking little movie.
Mm-hmm. 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 